Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the foundation that I kind of talked about in my day in my life video. I did a, or I went to a masterclass with Georgia Armani and they talked about this foundation. I asked you guys if you guys want to see a review of it and you guys did. It's a light coverage, natural finish foundation. It is a liquid foundation for pretty much all skin types. Normal combination oily dry skin. It's a ultra lightweight skincare infused foundation which normally foundations just say it's a lightweight but this one is ultra lightweight so I'm excited to see if I'm going to be able to feel the foundation on the skin it gives a natural healthy looking glow for all day hydration and it has light buildable coverage I have three shades here and I'm gonna swatch them all I have 8.5 8.75 and 9 this is 8.5 8.75 they look pretty close I feel like the first one is already kind of settling into the skin and then this last one is nine and this one for whatever reason looks the lightest based on like the shade numbers you would think it would be the darkest I think I'm gonna go with 8.5 which I actually thought I was gonna end up going with 8.75 or 9 I kind of think from memory Georgia Armani shade numbers at least for me they're kind of difficult to understand because sometimes the shade that you would think would be darker is really lighter or or in a different range altogether. So we're gonna go with 8.5. In the masterclass, they applied it with their fingers. And I'm just reading on Sephora.com and it says to do that as well. I am one of those people though that do prefer a brush. So on a regular basis, I probably would apply with a brush. I know, breaking the rules. Doesn't seem to have any smell. Maybe like a very slight something, but it really doesn't have that much of a smell. Just adding a bit more. Feels really good. It feels like I'm applying like a really smooth moisturizer and not like a thick foundation, you know, but it is ultra light. So I didn't think it was going to feel like a foundation, like thick like that. And this shade looks really nice. So 8.5 is a winner. What would set this all the way apart is if it had sunscreen. I wonder, does it? I don't think it does. Because if it has sunscreen, then it could be like one step. I'm going to go wash my hands really quick. So for concealer. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer just to kind of keep it going with the lightweightness. And then I'm going to set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. All right, I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. I'm not going to do much because I don't have much to do today. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I just finished the rest of my makeup. Literally have on a long sleeve. It's cold in my apartment and I don't want to change the temperature. Sure. much rather be cold than hot but anyway it is 9 23 a.m so pretty early i am getting an early start today so far i really like the way the foundation feels on the skin it definitely is lightweight i can see this being a really great foundation to just throw on when you're dropping off the kids or going to the grocery store or something like that i made it more full glam by doing my full routine but i felt like i could just wear the foundation itself and just go about my day I find it very interesting that it is a foundation but it honestly feels like and the description of it seems like more of like a CC cream or BB cream because it has skincare benefits and because of how lightweight it is but I really like the way that it feels on the skin it just feels really nice and it looks really nice on the skin like it looks like a full glam look you know but it's a very light foundation one thing I did notice is that the foundation does transfer literally if I just wipe my face it comes off 99 percent of foundations do come off when you do that but i just noticed that if i did touch my face it would be on my fingers but it's not horrible given that you just gotta remember you got makeup on <laughs> i'm gonna keep this foundation on all day so you guys can just stay tuned to see how it wears hi guys it is two o'clock on the dot two tops totally make you look like you don't have on shirts but i wanted to do a quick check-in with you guys so i've had the foundation on for four and a half hours and I did leave the house and I wore my mask and it came off on my nose a little bit and where I had my sunglasses but I already knew that the foundation was going to come off because like I was telling you guys it was already transferring like even when I kind of touched my face and this light makes it look like this foundation is a little too light it's really strange so far though the foundation still looks really nice other than the fact that it came off I don't have a whole lot of creasing or anything I'm not any more oily 
glowy or shiny than I was earlier. So four and a half hours is still looking really good. And I, like I said, I did leave and it's like 90 degrees outside. I guess that's it for this check-in. I will check back with you guys in a few more hours. Hi guys, it is 8.20 p.m. So it's been, whoa, a full day. 11 hours, you guys. That's more than a full day. So my thoughts on the foundation. I think the foundation was really pretty for a majority of the day. So I definitely think this foundation is more of a maybe six hour wear. It'll be pretty good. But I think if I was to add more foundation on my nose as well as touch up in the areas that I'm oily, which is next to my nose, on my nose and on my forehead, my usual areas, then it will look fine. Definitely not. A bad foundation I really enjoyed it I really like how lightweight it is and how like much of a natural finish it gave I did do the flashback test though and it does have flashbacks a little bit in a lit room and then in a dark room it definitely has flashbacks so keep that in mind as well so I guess the bad things would only be that it does transfer and that it does have flashback but other than that very lightweight foundation and really easy to throw on and it looks really pretty like skin for a good amount of hours it's kind of like those you give and take with it let me know what you guys think about this foundation down in the comments make sure that you subscribe before you leave and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys